Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here today with game five of the 2005 NLCS between the, the Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, also, while we're on the subject, I want to send out a get well soon, quick recovery to ID Jester. And it just so happens that the Cardinals are Jester's favorite team. So, um, hoping that uh, he everything goes well with him and that he gets a quick recovery and that he gets back at doing his channel. And uh, I will leave a link to his channel in the description so that you can uh, click on that. If you haven't subscribed, you should check it out. Uh, it's a great channel. He does a lot of good stuff on there. He does uh, sports gaming. He does war gaming, I think. Um, a lot of good stuff on his channel. So go check it out when you get a chance. But in the meantime, we're going to discuss this game now. Uh, the first thing I am going to do is we are going to go over the lineups. So let's do that first for the Cardinals. And, uh, oh yeah, okay, that's a problem. I'm going to have to zoom back out. There you go. So uh, you got Eckstein at shortstop leading off. Larry Walker in right field. Albert Pujols at first. Jim Edmonds in center. Scotty Rowland at third, Yadier Molina at catcher, and John Rodriguez will be in left field in, in place of um, Sanders this game, for this game, and then Luna at second base, who is taking over for the injured Mark Grudzelanek, and then Chris Carpenter, of course, in the ninth spot as the pitcher, and there he is, there's his uh, listed in the pitcher box. Looking at the Astros, you've got Willie Tavares leading off, playing center. Craig Biggio at second. Lance Berkman at first. Ensberg at third base. Jason Lane in right. Orlando Palmero at left. Um, Brad Osmus at catcher. Adam Everett at short. And Roger the Rocket Clemens will be the pitcher. And there he is listed in the pitcher box. And that is how the teams are going to line up. Um, we have, uh, I don't think we have any, anybody uh, different for the Astros. And if you're wondering why um, Bagwell isn't playing, Bagwell did not play a lot that year. He was injured. He may have played in the NLCS, but really, frankly, I think Berkman's a better first baseman. So, um, or at least he's a better hitting first baseman. So we will get on with all of that having been said. All the pleasantries out of the way. We are going to get on with the game. And David Eckstein will be the first batter. St. Louis is playing at Houston. This is game five. This will be the last game in Houston. And that is a 5-5. Five -five, and that is going to be a strikeout. So... He strikes out. And if you want to see what the series is right now after four games in the books, well, you're just going to have to go check that out. Larry Walker, Larry Walker is up, and he gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. So the Rocket K's the first two guys he faces, and there's two down quickly. And up steps Elbert the Machine Pujols. And he gets a 110, and that's going to be a single. So that's the first hit of the game, and the first hit, well, obviously for the Cardinals, if it is for the game. And uh, that is a hit given up by the Rocket. And then that brings up Jimmy Edmonds. And he gets a 2-8, and that is a strikeout. So Clemens struck out three of the guys he faced. One got a single, but nobody scored and the Cardinals come up with the big goose egg after their attempt at the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first and that brings Willie Tavares up to the plate. The speedy Willie Tavares against Chris Carpenter. 
and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So Carpenter strikes out the first man he faces, just like the Rocket did. Um, Carpenter in 2005 was 21 and 5 with a 283 earned run average in 242 innings. Craig Biggio is up. And he gets a 2-9, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. So he is, he's down. So that is a 6-3. And also, I forgot to put three strikeouts for Clemens, which he would definitely want. Oh, wait a minute. There are no... Oh, yeah, there they are. And I got to get... Carpenter's one strikeout in there. And let's see what happens with Berkman with two down. And he gets a 5-5. And that is a strikeout. That's the second strikeout. So, uh, uh, Car Carpenter gets the side 1-2-3. He doesn't even allow a man on like uh, Clemens did. So no runs come in for the Astros. And we go to the top of the second. And in the top of the second, you're going to have Scotty Rowland leading it off. And he gets a 4-8, and that is a strikeout. Clemens with the K's today. I mean, he is on top of his game. The Rocket is. That's his fourth strikeout already after uh, one out in the second. And Yachty, Yachty Molina gets a 6-5, and that is a strikeout. <laughs> Clemens is racking these up. And with two down, that brings to the plate John Rodriguez, who is playing for the first time in the series, I believe. And that is a single for John Rodriguez, so he gets a hit. Always got to be a hit every inning. But let's see if they can make that cash in. And with Hector Luna up. And he gets a 5-8, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. Everett is a 1. That's a 4, probably an out, and it is. So Luna gets, uh, he goes out 6-3, to three, and no runs come across in the second for the Cardinals. And that brings Morgan Ensberg to the plate for the Astros, and he is facing still Chris Carpenter. He had a perfect first inning. 1-4 is a ground ball to the shortstop, so he goes out 6-3. And uh, we go to Jason Lane. Jason Lane in 2005 hit 267, but with 26 home runs. And he gets a 6-6, and that is a strikeout. So he's out. And so far... Carpenter has not allowed anybody on base. He hasn't struck out as many as the Rockets, but he hasn't allowed anyone on. And Orlando Palmero gets a 6-9, and that is going to be the first guy he allows on with a single. So Orlando Palmero gets a single. That is a hit allowed for Carpenter. And that brings up Brad Osmus. And he gets a 4-7, and that is going to be a fly ball to center, and that is that. So that's all Houston gets. This might be a, uh, this might be a uh, real pitcher's duel here that we got going on. And the leadoff batter for the Cardinals in the top of the third is Carpenter himself against the Rocket. And he gets a 5-4, which is a fly to center. And uh, the Rocket has a center field 2. That is a 16. Probably going to be an out, and it is. So, uh, Carpenter flies out to center. One down. Very quickly. And Eckstein is better. That is a 5-12. And that is going to be a ground ball to first base. So he is, he goes out, um, we're going to say um, three to one, with the, with the first baseman flipping to Clemens, covering, and Larry Walker, Larry Walker is up with two down, 
And he gets a 1-3 and that's a ground ball to short. So 6-3. A lot of people bouncing out to shortstop in this game when they're getting out. We go to the bottom of the third inning. And that brings Adam Everett up as the first batter against Carpenter. And he gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball to second base. So he goes 4-3. And that brings Clemens, the Rocket. And he's a three hitter, so he's not too bad of a hitter. Strike out, though. That's what happens. And also, I forgot to record the other hit. The, um, he gave up, but anyway. Um, that was... And he is only one strikeout behind Clemens. He has... Carpenter has four. Clemens has five. Tavares is not... And that is going to be a 6-11, and that's a fly ball to left, and um, the left fielder for the Cardinals in this game is Rodriguez, and he's a 4, and that's an 18. That might be an out, and now it's a roll again. That is an 18. It's a roll again. That is a 9. That's going to be bigness right there. That's going to be a triple. So you got a uh, triple. For none other than Willie Tavares, which is not good. You got Willie Tavares just 90 feet away. And, uh, yeah, let me put it there. Um, and that is a hit. Second hit allowed for Carpenter. And that brings up Biggio. And that is a 1-7, which is a pop-out. Pop-out to second base. So... Pop out to four, and they don't get any runs. They did get a man as far as third base, but that was it. And so here come the Cardinals with Albert Pujols. So far we have a scoreless pitcher's duel here between Roger the Rocket Clemens and Chris Carpenter. And that is a 6-7, and that's going to be a fly ball, or a, uh, a pop-out to second. Pop-out to second base. My eyes aren't what they used to be. So one down. And Jimmy Edmonds is up. And he gets a 6-8, and that is a fly ball to center. There's two away. Two down very quickly, and that brings to the plate Scotty Rowland, the third baseman. And he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a single. So it's yet another hit off of Clemens, but when these hits are coming, they're coming with two outs, which makes them less potentially devastating. And Yadier Molina is up with two down. And he gets a 4-7, which is a walk. So now they've got two guys on, though. So now they got a little better situation going on. And that is also the first walk that Clemens has issued to a Cardinal in this game. And John Rodriguez is up. And he gets a 3-4, which is a strikeout. So he just goes down in a K... And that is the sixth strikeout for Clemons. And no runs come in for the Cardinals. In the fourth, we go to the bottom of the fourth, and Lance Berkman is up. This has been a very good series so far. And I don't expect this game to be any different. That's a 4-4, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. So Berkman bounces out 4-3, which brings up Morgan Ensberg. Morgan Ensberg gets a 6-7, and that is a ground ball to second, and he is a 4, and he is a 4 at second base, and that is a roll of a 4, which is going to be a single. So Ensberg gets another hit off of um, Carpenter, and that's the third hit off of Carpenter, with one down and Jason Lane at the plate. And he gets a 6-9, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So, 
Uh, you got Jason Lane with a big single, and that moves Ensberg to third, and there's only one out here. Uh, they are going, you know what? They're going to play the infield back. They're going to stay back because they're going to play for the double play with Palmero up. Um, if you know me, I don't like the infield in. I hate doing that. And it is still relatively early. That's a 6-6, six, six and it's a strikeout, a key strikeout for uh, Carpenter. And that brings, with two outs, that brings Osmus up with runners at the corners. And that is a 5-10. That is a catcher card, X. And his catcher is Yachty. And he's a 2, and that is a 10. So let's see what 10 and 2 is at catcher. Out on Dribbler. So that is it. They don't get any runs. And uh, Osmus goes 2-3. to three. And we are now in the top of the fifth. We're moving right along really at a nice swift pace because nobody's getting on base. And Hector Luna will be the first batter. And he gets a 5-8, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. He has a 1. That is a 10. I don't know. That might be an error, is it? It is not. One away. Luna goes 6-3 here in the fifth and uh, that brings uh, the pitcher up and that is Carpenter and that's a 4-7 and that is going to be a walk so Clemens loses Carpenter which is not a good thing because the Cardinals do have a pretty good lineup you might have heard they uh, they won their division and, they, uh, and David Eckstein is up with one down, with only one down. Is that right? Yes, with only one down. And Carpenter at first. And that is a 3-4, which is a pop-out to short. So he pops out to short. And now with two down, you have Larry Waka, Larry Waka up at the plate. And he gets a 6-7. And that is a pop out to second. So, uh, he pops out to second too as well. And no runs come in for the Cardinals. We go to the bottom of the fifth. You've got Adam Everett up. Near the bottom of the uh, Astros lineup, that's a 311, and that is going to be a single. So Everett gets on. He gets a hit in the bottom of the fifth to lead off the bottom of the fifth. Carpenter, fourth hit allowed. Now, I am going to um, on also wait. Last inning, there was a walk, so I didn't record that walk. Um, I'm going to sacrifice with... Clemens up. I don't like doing the sacrifice. That's a 10. I don't know if that even worked. Batter is safe. Leading runner is thrown out. That didn't really work well. So now Clemens is at first base. And there's one down with Clemens at first and Willie Tavares up. And that is a 3-6. That's a ground ball shortstop. Double play and they don't score. And we are moving along. We're moving along, people. We're going to the top of the sixth inning with Albert Pujols up. Pujols, who is in real life on the Cardinals again. After spending many years with the Angels, he gets a ground ball to second, so that's a 4-3. And uh, Jimmy Edmonds is up. Jim Edmonds, I think, is one of the best center fielders I've ever seen in my life. And he gets a 1-3, which is a walk. So he's aboard. One down, and he is on base. That's another walk allowed for the Clemens man. And uh, brings up Scotty Rowland. And that's a 2-4, which is a ground ball shortstop, double play, out of the inning. 
So that is a 6-4-3. Double play. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wrong. Wrong guy. 6-4-3, double play. Which ends the inning. And um, brings up the Astros. No runs coming across for the Cardinals. We're in the bottom of the sixth of a scoreless game. Fisio is up. He gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a line out to shortstop. One away. So Biggio gets a line out to six, one down, and Lance Berkman up. We might have some free baseball here, folks. Six eleven. That is a fly ball to left. The left fielder is better than no, that is Rodriguez again. And that is a 16. Gonna probably be something. It is a single and an error. And the batter is on second base. So you have Rodriguez making an error, and um, Carpenter also allowing a hit, which puts Berkman, that, all of that combines to put Berkman at second base with only one down and Morgan Ensberg up. And that is a 4-8. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. And that is the first run of the ball game right there. Ensberg singling Berkman home. And I believe that's going to be an unearned run. Because uh, the only reason that he was at... Well, it will, I guess we'll have to wait. Because the only reason that he was at second was that he... Um, got there by the air that helped him get there but there's only one out so Jason Lane is up we'll see that is a 311 and that is a ground ball third base B and that is a um, fielder's choice and uh, let's see Jason Lane fielder's choice that's only two down and Orlando Palmero up. And that is a 4-8. And that is going to be a single. So Orlando Palmero gets, in fact, that's a single double asterisk. So uh, that would have been an, 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 well, this, well, no, there is no run right here. So Palmero gets a single. But the run scored, I think, would have been an earned run. So, um, and that is another hit. Let's see, six hits, is that what we've got? Seven hits, Carpenter. He's given up seven hits and Ausmus is up. And that is a 411 and that is a walk. And now all of a sudden Carpenter is just completely falling apart. The bases are loaded. And Carpenter walks a guy, first guy that he's walked all game. And Adam Adam Everett up with the bases juiced, and he gets a five seven, which is a fly to left. So he flies out to seven, and the um, Astros only come away with one run. But I say only, that might be exactly all they need. But we'll see. Yadier Molina is up for the Cardinals. Here in the seventh inning, top of the seventh. And he gets a 311, which is a pop out to third. And so he pops out to uh, five. And that brings John Rodriguez up. John Rodriguez has really hurt this team pretty much. He did have a single back in the first in the second inning, uh, but he struck out and committed. I think well one error. So that's a two three. That's a strikeout, and he strikes out again. There's two down, and Luna is up. Hector Luna. And he gets a 4-4, and that is a fly ball to right field. 
um, we are going to see um, Carpenter stay in only because it still is only one nothing, and he would be the leadoff batter next inning, so they probably don't want to pinch hit for him or bring in a new pitcher right now. So uh, that brings Clemens up against him. And that is a 5-7, which is a fly ball to left, so Clemens flies out. One down. Brings Willie Tavares up. Willie Tavares gets a strikeout. Two down, and Carpenter with another strikeout. And, uh, yeah. And Craig Biggio up with two down, nobody out. And he gets a 5 6 and out of the ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Carpenter's team, the Cardinals, is Eckstein, and he's a three. That is a roll of six, though, and that will probably be an out, and it is. So he goes 6 3. And Carpenter, as they were hoping, did get through the seventh inning. He is the leadoff hitter right here, so he is not going to hit. Okay, so the pinch hitter will be So Taguchi. Pinch hitting for Chris Carpenter, the Cardinals pitcher. And he gets a 2 6, which is a line out to shortstop. So he didn't work out real well. And that brings to the plate David Eckstein with one down. And with one down, he gets a 4 3, and that is going to be a line out to first base. There's two down. And Larry Walker, Larry Walker is up at the plate. And he gets a 5-8, and that is a ground ball to short. He's a 1, that is a 6. He is out, 6-3. Six to three. And no runs come across in the 8th for the Cardinals. And the new pitcher for the Cardinals is Al Arias, coming in for Chris Carpenter. So we can close the book on um, Carpenter. He pitches 7 innings. He walks one, strikes out six, and allows seven hits, and only uh, one earned run. So he did, he, you got to say he did his job. They just couldn't score off of Clemens so far, and we'll, it remains to be seen if they ever do. But right now Lance Berkman is up, and the Astros would surely love to pad that lead for the Rocket. And he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball first base. So he is out. 3-1, um, to one, we will say again. And Ensbury is up. Ensbury gets a 4-10, and that is a catcher card. And he is a 2, that is a 3. Uh, three and two at catcher is safe at first on drop pop-up. So Yachty drops a pop-up and he makes an error. You don't need all these errors, that's for sure. Ensberg on by an E2. And that brings Jason Lane up. And Jason Lane had 26 home runs in 2005. He gets a 3-4 though and he bounces out to shortstop on a double play. So it's a 6-4-3 double play and no runs come in for the Astros no additional runs beyond the one that they got back in the sixth inning and now it is a one nothing lead for the, the uh, Astros the Cardinals need to get at least one right here to tie the game up and send it on and keep the game going who holds is up and he gets a five seven and that is a ground to the second baseman. The second baseman is Biggio, and he is not good, folks. 12 and 4, and that is an out, though. Biggio makes the play 4 to 3. The Cardinals with the 
top with the uh, part of the lineup that they certainly want up. Although Pujols got out, so now it's Edmonds trying to help out, do what he can, do his part. It's a 5-5, five, five. that's a strikeout. So that's another K for Clemons. Probably got more than what I've recorded. I'm sure I missed a few of them. And that brings it all up to Scotty Rowland. And we got to roll that bad boy again. And that is a 2-4 and it's a ground ball to short. And that one is in the books for Houston. Houston wins the game. Clemens goes the distance. Go the distance. And he gets the win. And the loss will go to Carpenter, who nevertheless pitched a great game. But uh, Clemens pitched a nine-inning shutout. Shut him out. And so Houston wins this game five of the 2005 NLCS. Catch up with the series. And again, get well, ID Jester. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.